The online world offers a great opportunity for commerce, but people will only use it if they can trust it. We all know the advantages of online shopping. For customers, it's often cheaper, easier and more convenient. For businesses, it potentially gives access to a global market at relatively low cost. In fact, for the first time, a real single market may be feasible in the digital space. New developments like the cloud will only increase the possibilities, giving people access to services and content wherever they are, whenever they need it, potentially boosting content demand and supply in a major way. We really should not let this opportunity pass. We cannot accept new artificial borders that will undermine the digital single market. It's good to see that you, online merchants, can meet so regularly to discuss e-commerce growth in such detail, and that those of you selling services and products online and between channels have a voice. You are not the only one interested in this. Me too. I want to make it even easier for you to reach out those new markets. Back in January, the Commission set out its action plan to boost e-commerce. Our goal was clear, to double the share of e-commerce in retail sales and to double the internet sector share of the European economy. We propose to do that with 16 targeted actions, to bring down the barriers and transaction costs that stand in the way of this growing sector, at all stages in the chain, from payment to parcel delivery. Let me give an example. Today, the most widely accepted payment form is also the most expensive, the credit card. Is that really the most effective solution, when one in three of us can access the internet through our phones? In this world, consumers are ever more demanding. They want ever more information, ever more choice, ever more feedback on products, and sometimes they even want to help design and finish the services and products they buy. But most of all, they want to trust the online world, to feel as safe and comfortable shopping online as they would in a physical shop. Imagine if we delivered that for them. They would feel confident and unconstrained to shop around and buy what was right for them. While Europe's businesses could easily reach out and compete in a multi-channel world. How do we build that trust? The Consumer Rights Directive is already helping. Plus, we have proposed new data protection rules, fit for the digital era, new ways to resolve online disputes and a new common sales law. Our proposal on e-identification, authentication and signatures will be a big step forward. By making it easier to prove who you are online, we can cut the risk of fraud or impersonation. And we can make it easier to buy, sell and innovate wherever you are. Our consumer agenda sets out new ways to target consumer confidence and boost consumer welfare. So prospective buyers are properly informed about goods and services and feel comfortable shopping online. And we are still reflecting on eras where we could go further, like EU trust marks, electronic and mobile payments and even VAT. Because one-stop shops for VAT could cut red tape and encourage cross-border e-commerce. Confidence doesn't just rely on the security of individual transactions. We need the overall network to be secure too. But that can be threatened by cyber attacks and malware. Later this year we are due to adopt the European strategy for internet security. Among our proposals will be ideas on sharing critical information, on incentivizing private sector action, on security breach notifications for all sectors and on measures to ensure businesses manage and mit mitigate cyber risks. With those ingredients we can build a trust to help get every shop digital and every European digital.